On my 10th birthday, I expected something big. I didn't know what, but something great and spectacular because that day I was turning two digits, and that was old. The whole day I waited, jittery, for that big coming of age, quinceañera, bat mitzvah, initiation kind of moment. It didn't come. It was the best part of summer, where the days were longer and the watermelon was juicier and the skies were bluer. I was going to be in a fifth grade, top dog at my school. I was 10, and I was alone. That was my coming of age moment. I swore to be best friends for life with a lot of people. I don't even remember some of their names. It's funny how when you're young, everybody's your best friend. Even though, if everybody's best, then that means there's no best at all. Maybe even no friend at all. Admitting to loneliness is like holding a big L over your forehead. So nobody admits it. For as long as we are surrounded by well-wishers and party-goers, we can drown out the noise of our own fundamental loneliness. You might find the courage to tell people you're lonely, and they'll laugh and say, but you have so many friends. And you'll laugh because it's true, but also just not. Because you don't need to be alone to be lonely. We live in a society bloated with data, yet starved for wisdom. We're connected 24-7, yet anxiety, fear, depression, and loneliness is at an all-time high. We see each other more than ever on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. But at the same time, we don't really see each other at all. I mean, have you ever posted something you found important and relevant on social media and got maybe one like? Hundreds of friends, but nobody there to listen? Either you know exactly what I'm talking about or you've never been a naive young fool in your entire social media career. As we learn to treat the real friends with more care and leave behind the ones that didn't make the effort, in that time, we'll be lonely. But being lonely doesn't mean that you're not funny, kind, lovable. Your heart is empty because it's too big and you haven't found the person able to fill it for you. Remember that post you made all those years ago? One of these days, a real, true friend is going to go back and revive that post and make you feel overly loved and embarrassed. So for now, it's okay to be lonely. And cut.